Mets, City Field in Queens. Major League Baseball on tap. It's the Philadelphia Phillies going up against the New York Mets. Boop Shabby alongside Chris Singleton. Singing here at City Field, of course, known as a pitcher's park, but this ballpark's gotten a little smaller over the years as they've changed the dimensions. It's a different ballpark. It plays differently, and these hitters are really feeding off of it. You give the pitcher a nice little lead, and we see those players getting comfortable and leading the team to victory. And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. All right, first pitch coming up. And on the hill, a soft tossing lefty, just like you, Chris. Jose Quintana, what do you look for here? It's always interesting to see how he utilizes all of his pitches and how many of those he has a good feel for on that given day. When he's right, he's really able to keep hitters guessing, and all of his stuff seems to be coming out of the same Leading arm slot, the same tunnel, and that can make life very time. difficult on his Ray. opponents. Here's the shortstop at the play. Trey Turner. And that's oh, outside. That's out. And we are underway. Aye. And that drops in for a strike. I got one ball, one strike. And that one moves his feet. Punch him out. And the pitch. That one down the line. And that's a fair ball. Man, he just right, absolutely set. turned on that one, ripped it down the line. Alex. Nice job of staying in his oh. mechanics. And now it's Alec Bohm. Oh. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Quintana, a former All-Star, he features a sinker, a four-seamer, a changeup, a curve, and occasionally mixes in the slur. And now the lefty. And there's a foul ball. He's going, he's going. To second, and he's out. <laughs> so much for the first hit right there. Good move, and he had him leaning all the way. One down, base is empty. Swing and a miss as he was late. This guy's got One such ball. a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. One out, base is empty. down the line this looks like extra bases makes the turn and heads for second the throw in and that's a two bagger that just an good. awesome swing of the bat quick hands and just lost the baseball 108 on the exit velocity man that is coming off the bat pretty good i know he's feeling good about it Now, here is Harper. He has, as they like to say... Let me guess, Boo. Light tower power? That's right. And oh, misses inside. This hitter loves attacking the first pitch, so not giving him something to hit is a good move. Boom. The runner at second with one away. 
misses just off the outside edge. I think that was a strike. And a pitch. Fastball for a strike. And it's two and one. Left hand batter waits. That's and ball another break. ball. And he deals. Center field. Bader should have it. Makes the grab. That's out number two. That is good. But doesn't need a hitter. Yeah, time now for the Phillies lineup. All right, Siggy, how about all the talent in this lineup? They're deep, first and foremost, but the way that they can manipulate their personnel for matchups and everything else, it's uh, very intelligent the way that they use their team, and I, I think it creates a little bit of uh, uncertainty for opposing teams, especially in a big game, big series. Kyle Schwarber in the box with two gone, and takes a look at a called strike. And it's quickly nothing in two on the designated hitter. Goes down looking. He's in a tough spot, had to make a great pitch, did it, got the strikeout, gets out of the jam. Clearly, he's happy with those results. here in Queens and starting in this one Zach Wheeler what do we need to know here about the right-hander great sinker although it's not his primary pitch it's really a pitch that he can go to misses the barrel of the bat gets ground balls and lets the defense work behind him Starling Marte up to him for the Mets the right fielder Starling Marte the pitch Fouled off. He was late. On the ground to short. Trey Turner gloves it. On to first. And a quick out number one. All right, let's take a look at the lineup. And the key to victory for them here, get their starters some run support early. If they can get him that run support early, it's likely the other team folds because they know how dominant he can be once he gets settled in. So put pressure on that other team right away. Jump out to a lead early and a few runs is going to feel like 30. Here's That's Jesse Winker. Very high with that one. Ball one. That's inside. That's inside. Nice. And a swing and a miss there. Two balls, one strike. Two two. Full count. Good ball plate four. appearance Thank there. You, Able to take the walk. Looked like a questionable call in that spot. That he even hurt. seemed a little surprised Not it went his way at the plate. But Not as a hitter, ball. you'll take that all day. Lindor. And at first, Francisco Lindor up now for the Mets. That's in there. That's strike one.
kicks and deals. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And now it's Mark Vientos. Right through there for a strike. Two outs. That one fouled off. Struck him out looking. That inning in the books tonight. And we're scoreless here on the show. And we're back. Second inning set to go. And now it is JT Real Muto. Quintana back to work. That clips the inside corner for a strike. Real Muto, multi-time All-Star, hitting fifth in today's lineup. And he was a third-round pick back in 2010. Quickly in an 0-2 count, you've got to figure out a way to shorten your path to the baseball. Put it in play somewhere, then you got a chance. Here comes a pitch. On the ground, oh, right side, out. and foul ball. The pitch. To the right side, McNeil. And quickly oh. one away in the second. Nick Castellanos at the plate now. Just missed. No score here in the second. Yeah. Swing and a miss. Strike one. One and one. One down. Base is empty. He swings and fouls one off. And here it comes. Got him swinging. Well, that's always the key to effective pitching is getting ahead in the count. And as a pitcher, it really allows you to start expanding the zone. Hitters become defensive, and all of a sudden that plate starts to get really wide. And what happens is because of the pressure, you end up committing to a pitch as a batter before you recognize what it is, and that's what leads to the strikeout. Two down, nobody on. That one the other way, and it stays fair. Around first, heading for two. And he'll pull in there with a stand-up double. He really shot that one down the right field line and somehow found a way to keep it from slicing foul. One thing that was great about the approach is head was down all the way through the pitch, and that's how you do it. Runner in scoring position now and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. So two down, Austin Hayes stands in for the Phillies. And that one fouled off. Well, they're looking to get on the board first here after that clutch two-out double made this inning interesting. Swing and a miss. Nice changeup. He's clearly out there throwing pitchers' pitches in this situation. First base is open. He walks him. No big deal. Man on second, two down. Hits and misses. It's a strikeout. A double in the inning, but they leave him stranded. Down to the bottom of the second. We're tied. Nothing, nothing. Here at City Field, we head to the bottom of the second. Here's Brandon Nimmo. Brandon Nimmo. 
the right hander back to work. And a curve is down and in. The pitch. And a foul ball left side. Big swing and a miss. This guy's sink has so much drop in it. It's almost like a split finger fastball. Instead of just weak contact and balls on the ground, he gets swings and misses. And the righty deals. Liner caught it second. That swing right there tells me he's seeing the ball that pretty well. I know it didn't produce a hit, right but he made solid Three. contact, and that's all you're looking oh, to do anytime you're at the plate. And now it's the polar bear, Pete Alonzo. Fall off foul. Pretty good pitch there to take a rip at. He wants to get his arms extended. He likes the ball away from him a little bit, just not able to square it up. And ball one. Ball one. That misses ball. the zone, and the count two and one. And the right hander deals. And a big swing and a miss. Now oh, that's that slurp right there. He threw it extremely well. Talk about just a ton of breaks. So tough to get that barrel to. And that just misses. Really good take, especially with two strikes. And that's ball four. That's ball four. I don't think he really wanted to pitch to him right there anyhow. Batting seven. The second base. Man at first with one gone. And now here's Jeff McNeil. Just missed. And that's another ball. ball. And that's a pitch early in this game. He needs called for a strike. Struggling with command issues. He's got to get a little help from the umpire. That oh, one three. misses. That's five straight. Well, I would expect in this 3-0 count, you're taking all the way. See if they'll walk you. Righty delivers. Hey. And there's the automatic. Two on the way. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. Well, pretty clear to me. He was trying to go deep right there, but you got to get a pitch that you can handle. And a swing and a miss. And there are two down. Just a mid 90s challenge fastball right there. Not much to it. And I'm sure he'd love another swing at it because. It was in a very hittable location. Those are the swings where you can sometimes start to question yourself as a hitter and say, how did I miss that? But you know what happens. Francisco Alvarez in now. Takes ball one off the plate. Two gone, but the go-ahead run is at first. Bottom half of inning number two. Next offering is in for a strike. Swing and a miss. 
One ball, two strikes. The pitch. And ball that's outside. Down. And that's ball two. Missing inside. 3 2, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitters got to stay focused on the pitch. Harrison Bader up next. That's foul off to the right side, keeps the AB going. Good battle here, about to be the eighth pitch of the at bat. Hit in the air, center field. Rojas makes the catch, and that'll do it. Mets leave one. We'll move to the third with no score. On to the third inning at the play. Johan Rojas. Johan Rojas. Quintana back to work. That one finds the zone. It's 0-1. And yeah, that skips in the dirt. The 1-1 is fouled off. The one two. Battling here as he fouls it away. The wind of the pitch. Swing and a high fly ball to left. Nimmo has it sized up. Corrals it. And there's one away. Trey Turner at the plate. He's one for one, let off the game with a single. In the dirt, and that is ball one. Bounce to the left side, Lindor. Whips it across. Oh. Turner is out. And now for the Phillies, Alec Bohm doubled his first time up. And nope. that's off one. the inside edge. 1-0. And another ball. Looks like he's being a little cautious with him in this at bat after doubling the first time up. Doesn't want to make another mistake. Two outs. Wouldn't chase that time. Bryce Harper next to bat for Philadelphia. Top of the third, no score. Next Aye. offering is in for a strike. And it's nope. ball four. He missed four. down low. One of the things about that two-out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So ball right. down the line or into the gap will produce a two-out RBI, and those are the best. That is, if you are the offensive side of it. And a foul ball. Oh 
And he'll one. And that one is inside ball one. One one now. And yeah, that's too high. He really committed to that fastball up at the top of the zone. He knows that if he makes a mistake in the zone, it gets hit hard by a power guy like this. That's a high fly ball near the pole. That one is foul. And the pitch. Fouls it back with two strikes. Bohm leads off first with two down to the inning. Three. Swings and misses. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. No runs on no hits, no errors, and one left on base. We move on to the bottom of inning number three. No score. And welcome Leading back to the ballpark. The and now Bader up the to the plate. Harrison. Bader. Now the right-hander ready to go. Still no score. And a bunt towards third. Grabs it barehanded. Oh. It's there, and that's a great play. Well, I think the defense was anticipating now, something right here because they were really ready Darling. to defend as that ball was put down. Mark nice little Man. drag bunt. But they get the out. And way to go. So the batting order turns over. Here's Starling Marte. 0 for 1 so far. This one in the air center field. Rojas settles underneath it. Makes the grab. Two down. The batter, number three. Designated hitter, Jesse. Jesse Winker, Winker. up now for the Mets. He reached out a walk his first time. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Goodness, I think he just took the best pitch he's going to see in this at bat. You don't get many like that in that location. I don't know if you take that pitch against any pitcher out there on the mound. Two down, nobody on. And One there's ball. a ball. Two strikes. Hey. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. Down in order, go the Mets. And we're still knotted at zero. Here in Queens, new inning getting started. Kyle Schwarber comes up to hit here. The wind of the pitch. That's off the mark, and that's ball one. You know, these fills just lacking discipline at the plate in this ball game. So many of their outs have come from weak contact on pitches. They're chasing outside of the strike zone. You can't do much of anything with those locations. And that's oh, this one high and deep, way back there. And it's off the wall. Now he'll turn for second. Nimmo quickly gets it back in. And now a runner moves into scoring position as we look for the first run of the ball game. Oh, I'm sure he feels really good about that one. Just missed out on a home run right there, but he certainly hit it hard enough. Just didn't have the right launch angle to carry it over the wall, but still an excellent swing of the bat. Now let's see if they can put up the first run of the game. And up to the plate is JT Real Muto. Rolled out to second in his first at bat. That's in there. And that is strike one. And as a pitcher, when the hitters are swinging at everything, you feel no need to challenge inside the zone. You just keep working the corners and expanding that strike zone and beyond. And they just keep eating right out of your hand. Oh. 
swings and lines a base hit into left field. And they get it in quickly. First and third now with nobody out. Nice line drive to the pull side right there, but he didn't spin off yeah. of it. That's the key. You still have to extend through the baseball in order to hit a line drive like that. Go ahead, run on base. So digging in now for Philadelphia, Nick Castellanos. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Schwarber on third. Real Muto on at first with nobody out. Lefty out of the stretch. Runners at first nope, and third. At the ball. Ground ball left side could be two. Over to McNeil. And that's two. First and third, nobody out. You're thinking you've got it lined up for a pretty big inning right here. So that double play is pretty deflating. They get the run in, but now they're starting all over. And here is Sosa to the plate. First pitch misses. And now the lefty. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. Wasting no time. He's two for two now on the night. And just a triple and home run away from the cycle. Seriously, we're starting with this already. And now it's Austin Hayes. He's 0 for 1. Pitch in for a strike. 0 and 1. Runner on the go. Up the middle. Lindor. Whips it to first. Out number three. But they push across one run on three hits, no errors, and one left. And midway in the fourth, it's the Phillies one and the Mets nothing. And we're back. Stepping in is the switch hitting shortstop, Francisco Lindor. You talk about elite defensive players, especially in the middle of the diamond. And this guy is at the top of the list. All one there. Yeah, we go beyond just the you know fielding percentage and you know what it looks like, but the ability to have a range and you know close holes that you know are normally there against an average defender. But this guy is special, and you can see it in his first step quickness. Right hander kicks deals. No nope, back down. Look, and the one thing about that is speed never goes in a slump, and defense shouldn't either. Hitting-wise, you can struggle, you can lose your mechanics, but the thing that you can do consistently every single game is play great defense if you're talented in that way, and this is what this guy does. Off the mark there. And that's ball three. When you look at the ability to save runs defensively, but then also put runs up on the scoreboard, that's the kind of player that every three. championship team needs to have. Caught him looking for the K. Next is the cleanup hitter for the Mets, Mark Vientos. Struck out looking his first time. That one's upstairs, ball one. Yeah, that's ball one. Smoked on the ground a second. Gets it to first. Two up, two down. The left fielder, number nine, Brandon. Brandon Nimmo, Nimmo. will hit next. He's over one. Hey. 
And that's in there at the knees. Two down, nobody on. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. Swings through that one out in front that time. Oh, two is the count. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Nothing doing for the Mets. They're down 1 0. Back here at City Field, digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Johan Rojas. This is a guy who's in the lineup first and foremost because of what he contributes defensively, Chris. And when you talk about preventing runs from being scored, yeah. this guy is a big contributor. Oh, one's the count. I was always told it's hard to take you off the field when you play really good defense, especially at a premier position, and that's what he does. That's Ooh, off the mark, there. and the count is one and one. The hitting's going to come around. He's going to figure it out. But right now, his big asset is the way he plays the game on defense. Good oh, eye in that great. spot. And another ball. Here's an opportunity to do some damage and perhaps unlock this offense. 3 1 count. Be ready to turn on a fastball. Way hey. out front for strike two. Right side, hard hit. Fires over to first. And the leadoff man set down in their half of the fifth. Trey Turner now, one for two. Love it here at City Field. You know, it replaced old Shea Stadium back in 2009, and Chipper Jones was really sad to see it go. It's actually the third home of the Mets since they started out at the Polo Grounds for two seasons before Shea was finished. There's a strike. Base is empty one away, and we're at the top of the fifth. That's down and in. It's a good take. And a pitch. That one is absolutely belted. It one hops off the wall. Should be extra bases. And into second with one away. That's a double. The batter. So, man aboard. Now the third baseman, Alec Bohm. That one's in there. Strike one. Turner over at second, one down. Next offering is in for a strike. All right, now, he may have not liked either of those first two pitches or agreed with the umpire's calls, but at this point, he's going to have to bear down and be ready to hit anything close to the zone. Man at second. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0-2. And a pitch. That misses the zone, and the count is one and two. Oh, two count. You got the opportunity to expand the zone. Could get the chase there. Let's see what he comes back with next. The pitch. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Runner at second here, one gone.
He goes down looking. Oh, you know that's got to be very frustrating for this guy. He knows the strike zone extremely well. And you know what? Good hitters are not going to compromise. He'll take that punch out, but ultimately stick with his plan and have more success than anything else. Here's Harper now. Fouled off. He was late. And on second, two down. Swing and a base hit. Flying around third is Turner. He'll score easily. It's 2-0. Comes through with the RBI. You'll often hear the phrase, short to it, long through it. And that's a great example of it right there. Got the barrel in the hitting zone early. Squared it up with the well-timed swing. And came away with a beautiful line drive into center field. Two outs, runner at first. Now it's the cleanup hitter for the Phillies, Kyle Schwarber. Swings and blasts one deep to left center. Back there. And that ball is gone. And they throw a pair on the board. It's 4-0. Already playing with the lead, and now they're celebrating a home run. They're having a great time out there. That's an impressive swing of the bat to go over the wall to the opposite field gap. And, you know, there are a lot of guys that just don't have the pop to do that and probably just as many who don't have the approach either. He let that ball travel, and he got great extension on the follow-through to drive it out of here. Base is empty with two away. JT Real Muto steps in. Whoa, and the pitch a little bit low, ball one. Two outs. And that's in for a strike. Action in the pen down there. Number 72 appears to be getting loose. Garrett also throwing. Two down, nobody on. That's ball two. Fouls one off, two and two. Y'all, well, this is a good time to step out of the box, take a deep breath, reset. A couple of change-ups, probably won't see another one here. Slice the other way, that's a base hit. So the inning is still alive with Nick Castellanos coming to the dish. And here comes the Mets manager to the mound. Pitching change coming. Jose Quintana will depart. We'll be back in a minute with a new arm on the mound. Number 72 taking over on the mound. Still pretty early in the ball game, so this bullpen has some work ahead of him. Best case scenario might be if he can come in here and get several quick outs, kind of bridge the gap that starter left for him. Runner at first with two away. Here's Nicholas Castellanos. Pickoff move to first. Real Muto back in there. Ball one, no strikes. Kicks and fires. Ah. Late hey. with the swing there. It might One be ball. time to choke Two up three. a little bit. Get that front foot down early. Maybe even just spread out. He's really late right now. Three. Come on and miss. Struck him out. That's the third out. But the Bills get two on this blast. It's now a 4-0 ball game. 
Major League Baseball is on the show. Pete Alonso Leading up, up now for the Mets. the Mets. The first baseman, Pete Alonso. And a pitch. Swing and a foul straight back. Well, these Mets, to put it bluntly, need to put together more competitive at-bats, and I don't think they've lived up to their own expectations at the plate. Strikeouts are a little easier to stomach in baseball today, but even by those standards, they're going down way too often, and I think they're having a hard time getting any momentum going as a result. Well, you can't really adjust your game plan for that last pitch. Guy hasn't thrown it very much. You got to focus on the stuff that he's throwing up there most of the time. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. The 0 2. And down on strikes he goes. Picks up strikeout number seven. Really love the pitch the sequence batter. right number there. One. I'm telling you what, pitcher Second and catcher pitch, are on the man. same page right now. Yes. Jeff McNeil stands Not in. Here. Struck out swinging his first time. Oh, and that one just that. misses. A ball and no strikes. They've got a potent lineup. And when you think about teams capable of rallying from this kind of deficit, they're right at the top of the list. That one catches the zone, and the count even one and one. The wind of the pitch. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. The Mets yet to pick up a hit here. Got him looking. And there's two away. Well, I'm not really sure why he let that one go by. I mean, out of the hand, that it had a lot of the four. strike zone. Sure, it had some run, good go. arm side run at the end Alvarez. to move to the outside part of the plate. But with two strikes, you got to be ready to swing it there, and you can't leave it in the umpire's hands. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. The pitch. One ball, one strike. Ground ball to the middle. That's a base hit. Just kept it simple. Number Played Pepper goal. with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came Bader. from. There's just no one there to knock it down. So digging in, Harrison Bader. That one misses, and it's one to know. Righty to the plate. Left field. Hayes has it sized up. Hauls it in to end the inning. Met strand one. They're on the short end of a 4 nothing score. Top of the sixth inning. Here's the second baseman, Edmundo Sosa. Edmundo Sosa. And here it comes. And that's off the inside edge. Ball one. Well, these Phillies, digging into their numbers, have to be happy with the swings they're taking. They have five extra base hits on the stat sheet so far, and that tells me they're seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well. Swing and a miss. That one at 99. And now it's even one and one. 
in hey. there for a strike at the bottom of the zone. One ball. With all those extra Two base strike. hits, it's easy to think we're going to see that trend continue the rest of the game. They seem to be really locked in at the plate. Liner, and that should be extra bases. Makes the turn and heads for second. Pulls in with a double, third hit for him today. Clearly seeing the ball very well in this one. Now, nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Now the left fielder, Austin Hayes. Just missed. Man at second. That one missed. Two and oh to Cal. Here it comes. Aye. And a foul ball. Right-handed reliever. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Not what you're looking for after the leadoff double. A strikeout. And there's one away. But that kind of velocity, an elevated fastball, even if it's still in the strike zone, can be tough for hitters to get on top of. In the air, right field. Marte moves under it. Drops into the glove. And there's two away. Back to the top of the lineup. And digging in for Philadelphia, Trey Turner. Foul ball there. Man on second, two down. Yeah. Got him. Outside pitch got the better of him that time. So a leadoff double, but they can't cash it in. Top of the order, two up in the home half of the six. It's the Phillies four and the Mets nothing. And welcome back to the ballpark. Bottom of the six. And stepping in for New York, Starling Marte. Marte. Here comes a pitch. That's in there. Strike one. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. He usually doesn't work out for success, but he can never predict baseball. Next offering is in for a strike. Oh, two. Fights it off, you'll see another. That oh, misses. Now one and two. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. Stays alive. Hey. Twings and misses. It's a strikeout. Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. So now the DH the spot, batter, Jesse three. Winker. A strikeout hitter. and a walk. Jesse. Winker. Liner, base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. 
Only two hits allowed so far tonight, Boog. So I don't think that one will disrupt his momentum all that much. You know, he's really been on top of his game, commanding his pitches all night long. And now it's Frankie Lindor, who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. Fastball for a strike, and it's 0 and 1. Now this team is definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. Foul ball. Man at first, one away. and misses it's a strikeout pretty electric stuff showing up on the mound right now i mean in the double digit strikeouts he oh, should be able to rack up some more before he's done in this one and well, not many of these hitters have had much of an answer for what he's offering out there and a foul ball That's inside. off the inside edge. And that is ball one. Two outs. Check That's swing. Open. He held up. Now two balls and a strike. Kicks and deals. That ball one three. misses. Three and one. Last couple of pitches breaking balls away. I think he's going to have to come firm inside to be able to open up that location if he wants to go back there later in this count. Three one is on the way. The right hander ball gives ball. up the two out Perfect. walk. Well, this could be the start of something. They haven't found a way to score yet, now but now's their Brandon. chance to change that. Brandon. Now here is Nimmo. Brandon Nimmo. That's a strike going one. Two on, two outs. Hit hard on the ground to short. They get the force out with room to spare, and that's the inning. Make it six shutout innings for him out there now. It's the Phillies four and the Mets nothing. We go to the top of the seventh, and now Alec Bohm. The pitch. Ground ball right side, McNeil. And the leadoff hitter set down to open the seventh. Now batting, the first baseman, Bryce Harper. Bryce Harper to the plate. With this kind of lead, he can swing freely, try to hit the ball out of the park, do what he loves to do. Now hey. swing and a miss, and that's strike one. Oh, one Boom, now. that's cheddar, baby. Base is empty one away here at the top half of inning number seven. Overrated. Swing and a miss. And it's 0-2. He got away with one there, but he knows he can't go into that spot very often against a guy like this. Three. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Now back. So here's the Phillies DH. Kyle Schwarber. Can't forget the two-run shot he launched out of here in the fifth. 
Yeah, one of the biggest swings of the game, Boog, as he looks to make even more of an impact in this at bat right here. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Two outs, bases empty. Good oh. eye right there. Swings and misses, and a nice inning of work there as he sets him down. One, two, three. Down quickly go the Phillies. They lead 4 nothing. Back here in Queens, here ready to go for the last half of the, the inning. And here's the first baseman, Pete Alonzo. The right-hander back to work. And first offering is fouled off. That's inside. inside. That one fouled off. Yeah, the right hander deals. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Flew open a little bit with that front shoulder, but was able to slow his bat down just enough to make contact with that pitch. Keep the bat alive. Righty delivers. Foul ball still, a one and two count. The pitch. Hammers that one deep left field and forget it. He'll circle the bases, and they're on the board. It's 4-1. It's no surprise this guy has won the home run derby multiple times. He was born to hit him. Pitchers are taught to keep the ball down so that you don't get hurt. But unfortunately on that one, he made a pretty good pitch in terms of location, but it was just a better swing. And next for the Mets, Jeff McNeil. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up and you start to expect a big inning. Left-hand hitter waits. And there's a foul ball. Nobody on. Nobody out with a run in. Here at the bottom of the seventh. Just missed. Stirring in the Phillies bullpen. Jeff Hoffman preparing to come on if needed. Estevez getting cranked up as well. And the righty deals. Fall off foul. Gets a piece and stays alive. The 2-2 two -two now. Got him swinging. And that's the first out. Nice recovery after giving up the homer. Now the catcher now up to hit, catcher. Francisco Alvarez. Alvarez. That's yep, outside. That out. And that's ball one. Oh. Just missed.
This one in the air. Under it. They got it for out number two. That was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate. Uh -huh. Had pretty good timing on it. Just got underneath it a little bit and popped it up. Bader. Harrison Bader digs in now. I think when you contemplate him as a player, the first thing you think about is defense and you think about that great arm. I also think about the speed. If he can get on, that's going to give one more thing for that pitcher to think about. The why to kick the pitch. Strike two. No ball, two strikes. And a swing and a miss, and that's that. But not before they're able to draw closer with this blast. It's now 4-1. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Welcome back, and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Phil Maton. The offense will need to be ready for the breaking stuff. He's got a great curveball. And here's the catcher, JT Real Muto. This is a guy who is very highly regarded defensively. Fun to watch him control stuff behind the plate. Good game caller, good at framing, but it's that big arm that really stands out. In the air, out towards right center. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. One away. Really nice job to get your first out of the ball game. Number eight. Nick, Nick Castellanos, Castellanos stands in for the Phillies. 0 for 3 with two strikeouts and a ground out. That one at the knees for a strike. Movement in the bullpen. Oscar Brazobon, the young right-hander, up and throwing. Garrett getting loose as well. A one down. And that's a strike. Base is empty one away, and we're at the top of the eighth. And one and two. That's a really good ball, job of laying yeah. off the 0-2 high fastball. Is going to make that pitcher really have to respect this hitter, even though he's behind in the count. Ball two. And now the count is even. Eight. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Third time he struck out in this one, and definitely an individual performance you want to flush. He just hasn't looked very comfortable up there. Just one of those days. But when you're still winning the ball game, at least you can focus on doing your part to maintain that lead and getting that W. Sosa in the box now. No balls and a strike. There it was. Oh, oh, here it is. Hit it. He gets a take. Gets ahead in the count. Fastball in for a strike, and the count is 0-2. And down on strikes, and it's a three-up, three-down inning. Phillies down in order as they hold on to a 4-1 lead. Now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, Jeff Hoffman. He has a great slider with tons of movement. Back to the top of the Mets order. Here's the Mets leadoff man, Starling Marte. Marte. And a pitch. And yeah, ball one to the right fielder. Got to keep enough. things airtight defensively right here. On your toes, ready to make a play. If you can get this to the ninth with a three-run lead, it should be a W. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. Well, in this one, the offense has sputtered. Somebody's got to find a way to get on, keep the line moving, and manufacture at least one run. Then maybe you get two or three. 
cut on and missed 96 of that fastball. One ball, two strikes. And a ball and two strikes. Got him. And one out now. That's that classic wipeout slider below the zone right there. Just nasty. Looks like a fastball thigh high that you've got to protect the zone. And then it's just that late break that fools you and kind of makes you look silly. Winker stands in here, leaves that one off the inside. Good slider down and in can be so hard to get on plane with. You're better off taking that pitch. The Phils leading by three. Here, the bottom half of the eighth inning. Right hander kicks, deals, fouls it off, still one and two. pitch swing and a ball lined out towards center pulls it in on the run and there's two down now batting shortstop Francisco two outs base is empty Lindor. Francisco Lindor up now for the Mets this guy is one of the best athletes in the sport and a good eye there Swings and fouls one off. So a foul ball makes it one and two. A little tardy on that fastball. is going to have to get it going a little quicker. Get that front foot down. And a pitch. And that's down and away. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. Three up, three down, inning over. Mets go down quickly, and they trail it 4-1. And we're back. All set to start the ninth in this one. Here's the left fielder, Austin Hayes. The pitch. And that one just missed off the outside edge. Outside. Oh, Next That's offering right. upstairs. Let's see if he gives him anything to hit here. And he walked him on four pitches. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't he offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry the about over at first. Johan and now for the Phillies, Johan Rojas. Over three with two flyouts and a ground out. Right and ball, ball one. Rudder at first with no outs here. On the ground, could be two. Off balance feed, there's one. Over to first, safe. Tough play right there. Didn't really have enough time to set his feet and make a strong, accurate throw. Had to rush it, but he got it off and he got it there in time to get that out at second base. So the Philly batting order turns over. Here's Turner now. Pitch nope, misses. Ball. ball one. Ball one, no strike.
Rojas leads off first with one away. Now a screamer into the outfield. Nimmo pulls it down. Up next for Philadelphia, the third baseman, Alec Bohm. Man at first, now the number two hitter, Alec Bohm, one for three. First pitch, okay. just misses. At the belt and fires. There's a strike. Throw to first. Rojas back on a dive. Two outs. Swings here and blasts one left field. That's back. That one is gone. A two-run shot, and they add to their lead. It's 6-1. When you're working with this kind of velocity, so critical that you move the ball around, work quickly, and make sure that you keep that hitter off balance. Clearly not fooled by the location or the velocity. He was all over that fastball. Here's Bryce Harper. First oh, wow. offering, and it just misses. Two runs across in the inning. Here at the top of the ninth. There's a strike. This one popped up. Vientos moving under this one. And that is that. But two come across to score in the inning courtesy of this two-run homer. And this is now a 6-1 ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. Back now as they hand the ball to a fresh arm to start the bottom of the ninth, Orion Kirkering. And he's now got a nice lead to work open. with, so he should Number come in 50. throwing strikes, Orion attacking these hitters. Kirkering. And stepping Leading in for New York, Mark the Vientos. The third baseman, Mark Vientos. And he deals. Right through there for a strike. Well, and a bat can be a little bit of a dance. Strike one here, but a few more pitches. We'll see how it turns out. And oh, downstairs. Looking to get something going. This is the guy you want at the plate. He's been great for this team. He is a professional hitter. And a pop-up. Right side, foul territory. Harper makes the grab. Then there's one down. The left fielder, number nine, Brandon Nimmo. Brandon Nimmo, the next to hit. 0 for 3. A fly out, a ground out, and a strikeout. Now fly ball to right center. Makes the grab on the run. Out. Number two. Hey, man, four pitches, two outs. That is an excellent now that, base. First baseman. So it's their last chance in this one. Here's oh, Pete Alonso. He's already homered in this game. First pitch misses. Counts one and oh. Swing and a pop-up. Foul out of play off to the right side. That'll find the stands. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. Misses That's outside, out. and it's two and one.
Two down, nobody on. Here in the last half of inning number nine. Kirkering is just one strike away. Got it. And that is the ball game. Sometimes it takes just getting away from home. Players can sort of come together, connect a little bit more than they do when they're at home with their families, and that can breed to success on the field, as we saw in this game today. Excellent win by this team. 6-1 is your final here today. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show, thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chambi. Talk to you soon. line score tonight first for the victorious Philadelphia Phillies six runs on 12 hits no errors they left six runners on base for the Mets one run on three hits no errors they left five runners on base the winning pitcher is Zach Wheeler the loss goes to Jose Quintana time of the ball game three hours exactly Tonight's paid attendance at City Field, 41,922. The Mets thank you for your continued support and remind you to please get home safely.